welcome to Thursday's language lesson. Today, we're going to be learning about the vowel. That is sometimes a vowel and sometimes a consonant. Which vowel is that? You're right, it's the Y. The reason why we are going to be looking at the Y as a vowel today is because that's one of the focuses of our word list for this week. The word list is week 12. In week 12, we have two of the words that have a Y in them that uh, is a vowel. The words are candy and puppy. In both candy and puppy, the Y sounds like a long E. And so we're going to be learning about the long E sound in the, in the letter Y, for the letter Y. Go ahead to turn in your books to page 111. That's 111 in your phonics book. Here we are. Page 111 in your phonics book starts with a little rhyme at the top. You can read along with me. Baby bird, are you ready? Baby bird, can you try? Spread your tiny wings, for now it is time to fly. Can you find the Y's in all of the words of this rhyme? Some of the Y's sounds like E, the long E sound. Some of the Y's sound like I, the long I sound. Now let's read the rule. Sometimes Y can stand for the vowel sound of long E or long I. You can hear the long E sound in baby, baby. Circle each word, right? I'm reading from this first instruction box. Circle each word in which Y has a long E sound. So there are 16 words listed here. Do not circle all of the Ys. Do not circle all of the words. Only circle the words in which the Y sounds like an E. Go ahead to do that. What about the word baby? Does the word baby have an E sound at the end or an I sound? How about the word cry? Does the word cry have an long E sound or a long I sound? How about the word happy? Long I or long E? Circle only the words in which the Y has a long E sound. Let's go on. On the bottom, you are to circle the words in the sentences in which the Y has a long E sound. So read the whole sentence and circle the words in the sentence in which the Y has a long E sound. I'll read the first sentence for you. Ty and Molly were helping take care of baby Freddy. Now stop at that sentence and circle all the words in which the Y has a long E sound before continuing to the next sentence. All right, and that is the end of your phonics activity. I'm going to read you a book. It's called Megan Rose on Stage. This book was written by Lori Z. Scott and illustrated by Stacy Curtis. 
I'm not going to read you the whole book because it is a short chapter book. I'm going to read you chapter one, just for fun today. This is not a poem. We're just going to read a story for fun. As you read it, as you listen to this story, I want you to try to picture the story in your mind. That is what good readers call visualization. Visualization is when you can make a picture like a movie in your imagination as you hear the story. Chapter one is called Megan Rose. And here's a picture. Megan Rose. Hi, I am Megan Rose Thompson, but you can just call me Megan. My mom sometimes uses all my names, but that's not usually a good thing because then her voice gets louder and her face turns red. So just Megan is fine. My favorite color is blue because I have blue eyes. Also, I have long straight brown hair, brown like bread crusts, mud and banana bruises. I'd rather have blue hair since brown ranks low on my favorite color list, but I will live. I go to first grade. My teacher is Mrs. Arnold. She's smarter than even my grandma, I think. She knows a lot about lunch money and slap and staplers and stuff like that. She always gives us way too much homework, but I think the principal makes her do that because I don't think she really enjoys grading all those papers. But guess what? This afternoon, Mrs. Arnold told us she wasn't giving us any homework all week. She was too busy organizing the school talent show to mess with it. We clapped and clapped that fact. I tell you that woman is full of surprises. Then Lynette Becker raised her hand. She sits in front of me. Sometimes I can't see over the over the big frilly hair bow she wears. Lynette keeps her desk so clean that she never has trouble finding her scissors and crayons. In fact, she seems like the type of person whose favorite color just might be brown. Can I be in the talent show? Can I play Yankee? I can play Yankee Doodle Dandy on the piano. I'm sure I will be a star. Mrs. Arnold, held up a finger. For some reason, that always gets Lynette to stop talking. I've never seen anyone control talking with one finger before, but it works for Mrs. Arnold. Anyone interested in participating in the talent show can try out next week after school. Just fill out a form with your name and description of your act and get your parents to sign their permission. Each grade has its own day to try out. Practice first and then show up on the right day. After tryouts, I'll notify everyone who makes it into the show. Lynette started jumping up and down. Mrs. Arnold frowned at her and said, trying out doesn't guarantee you'll be selected to perform in the talent show. Oh, I know I'll make it, Mrs. Arnold, Lynette said. Mom says I'm the best piano player in first grade. Then she started wiggling her fingers in the air and humming Yankee Doodle. Only that's not so great, I interrupted, because not everyone can play the, play the piano. Mrs. Arnold smiled. You don't have to play the piano. You can sing or dance or read a poem. Be creative. Ryan raised his hand. I could dribble a basketball, he said. I smiled at that. Ryan is a good friend and he can dribble something fierce. Plus, when he dribbles, his curly hair bounces like a slinky toy which is kind of cool. Well, okay, Mrs. Arnold said. 
Ryan kept talking, or I could burp the alphabet. Ryan burps really well. I don't know how he does it either. It's a special skill, I think. Everyone started talking. I can dance. I can play my recorder. I'll do a cheer. With so much blabbering, I had to stand up just to be heard. And I'll show my bottle cap collection. Everyone went quiet and looked at me. Lynette narrowed her eyes. You can't do that, Megan. It's not a show and tell. You have to go on stage and entertain everyone. I lifted my chin. Bottle caps are entertaining. Ryan snorted, bottle caps are only entertaining if you juggle them or use your teeth to bend them into interesting shapes. Oh, I said in a small voice. Ryan gave me a thumbs up, but otherwise you go girl. Mrs. Arnold sighed. Who wants a form? Lynette raised her hand and gave me a grinny smile over her shoulder. That bugged me. I could just see her all dressed up in a puffy dress with big hair, body glitter, lip gloss, and tip top shoes. And everyone would cheer for her. I felt a little jealous of that girl. I couldn't play the piano. In fact, I couldn't even dribble or burp very well. I didn't know what I'd do, but I gulped, raised my hand too. I, Megan Rose, must have some kind of talent, right? That's the end of chapter two. As you practice your poem, make sure you are able to use a big voice. You're practicing with a big voice and use a lot of expression. It will help your audience to be able to picture what you're saying in their mind. Help your audience do what good readers do. And that is visualization. Have a good day.